Hey there, YouTube. Uh, figure we'd try something a little different here. Just, uh, basically I'm out of video content right now, so, uh, oh, sorry for the shakiness. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna hold this thing. Ah, hello, Jameson. Had to try out the new bottle I just picked up. So, I figure, uh, I'll just talk about a few things I got going on, and, uh, we'll just kind of walk around the yard a little bit as we go. Um... Yeah, we'll just kind of show you some stuff. I gotta show you something real quick though. That's pretty cool. Stay there, Axel. I'll go through the gate. So, you just saw my truck in the background there. Did a little uh, addition to the back of the truck. Yeah, you see that? I'm, I'm like totally in the way. I, God, how do you get yourself out of the camera when you're trying to... Yeah! You see that? It's pretty cool. Got the Spider Industries headache rack, custom designed. Hopefully you can see on there. It's got a uh, little American flag design on there. This thing's pretty badass. Solid. Uh, trying to aim cameras. It's metal. <laughs> it's got a couple LED lights on there that I haven't hooked up yet. I gotta get the uh, wiring harness for those, but I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So, yeah. So. I'll show you a few things going on. Actually, I'm staying. Jesus. Ah, kind of a bummer day at work today, so I'm glad to be home. Hopefully this isn't too bouncy. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm just trying to walk slow. So, yeah, here we are. It's kind of like, almost like a vlogging video or something, I guess. So, for uh, someone who I gotta stop saying so. So, for <laughs> for someone who uh, wants to get a bunch more uh, subscribers and, and whatnot, I sure as heck haven't been putting up anything, have I? I'm pretty bad at that. I keep telling myself I need to at least put up something once a week. You know, that's a, a good goal. Hmm, Jameson, good. Uh, obviously I've been failing at all this. The problem is I just haven't been doing anything. Uh, you can see everything is just kind of dreary and wet. See tractor back there. A load of wood in the in the old trailer. My Oldsmobile is just sitting back there getting crusty. My plan was to uh, work on that transmission this winter, but this winter's just been been ugly. The heap sitting back there. Brian's Oldsmobile. So yeah, just nothing going on. I just haven't been making videos. I haven't really been in the mood the few times that I do have a... I, I am out doing stuff. So, yeah. Oh, well. Just kind of waiting for, uh... Waiting for, uh, some warm weather. It's kind of weird. I keep concentrating on the camera and what I'm doing, and I, I can't think of what to talk about. But hey, if you guys like this type of video, you know, maybe not the bounciness or something, I gotta work on that. But if you like this type of video, you know, I can maybe try and do something like this once a week or something. Might be something to add to the channel. Uh, the area I'm walking on, oh yeah, you see that? You see the tire marks behind me? You guys remember the uh, Ritz Racing debut, debut April 1st. Might... Might be some uh, some practicing going on there. It's gonna be fun. I can't wait. But uh, yeah, just poking along. I kind of actually walk around this yard probably almost once a day. Usually just kind of walk around with the dog and look at all the cool stuff that's popping out of the dirt and things that are growing. Another thing that's been uh, bugging me lately. So we're just walking across the uh, track here and going into the back corner. Something else that's been bugging me a lot lately is, uh, uh, did I talk about this yet? How oh, I really want to do, like, I want to expand in my video editing, uh, you know, skills or whatever. So I downloaded a, God, I had to have talked about about the whole video card thing, right? Did I talk about that? Well, okay, I'll talk about it again. In case I didn't talk about it. So, I really want to do some more video editing. So, 
I actually downloaded a better program than the free Windows Movie Maker that I always use on here. And so uh, I downloaded this program, which is all cool. And then to find out, my computer can't even run the program because my graphics card. The, in my computer, my computer is a fairly off-the-shelf, just a basic computer. It doesn't even have an, a separate graphics card. It has what they call integrated graphics. I had to learn all this, too, because I don't really know much about computers. And, well, I know a lot more now that I've researched the heck out of it. And so I started looking into getting a graphics card. I was like, cool, yeah, maybe I'll just buy a graphics card and stuff it in there and, you know, use this program. Well, I started looking at cards. First, I started asking some people, you know, some computer friends, what to use, what to run. And okay, so I finally figured out, this one guy, buddy, he's at work, he, he told me I, I should run my program that I have needs... I think it needs four gigs of, uh, I don't know what you call it, graphics, GPU space or whatever. It needs four gigabytes of it to run it. So, okay, he says you should go with the six gig then, just have some extra space in there for other programs and stuff that are running at the same time and whatnot. And you're not always maxing out the, the GPU and the graphics card and all that stuff. But, uh... So I kind of settled down, did a lot of research, and figured, okay, I need this. I don't know what the brands are, GT, X, GTE, something like that. 1060, I need a 1060 6 gig card. That's what I want, you know, kind of set on that. So then I go out to find, try and find them. There's none for sale. They're all absolutely sold out. And if they're not sold out, they're asking two to three times MSRP for them which was just ridiculous. So normally it should be a $300 card. They're asking five to $800 for these things. And I'm like, there's no way I'm paying that much for this thing. Uh, so did a little research and find out that it's because of the crypto mining that's going on everywhere with all the Bitcoin and all that stuff with how it had that huge, you know, spike. Went up to, what, 20 or 30,000 dollars a a coin or however the heck they say it and they got these mining rigs that these guys build and they take like as many of these graphics cards as they can it seems like it's usually I don't know six to eight of them and they rig them all together into a single computer so you have this this massive amount of computing whatever and then they run their little program and it just goes out there and it just mines for cryptocurrency you know it's just mining for all the little bits and pieces I don't know how it does it buys and sells and collects the money I don't know, whatever but because of that you can't buy a graphics card because they have bought up everything you know and it's kinda weird to think that something like that can absolutely wipe a market clean but I've been looking for I don't know over a month now solid there's nothing and if you do want something, you gotta pay for it, and it's just not worth it that much right now. But the bright side is, once the whole cryptocurrency uh, boom or fad, whatever you want to call it, crashes again, which it is, it's actually currently crashing, uh, and for one, there'll either be a whole bunch of used cards being dumped back into the market, because now these guys are going to be trying to get their money back out of all this, you know, $50,000 rigs they built. And uh, so I could buy a used card, or I, I'm pretty much just gonna. There's a cat running across here. Jeez, my hand is cold. It's cold outside, and I'm holding a glass of ice. Jesus. So I'm just gonna wait for the uh, prices to come back down to MSRP. And it's kind of funny because the makers of the cards, they want to sell them for MSRP. It's basically the stores that are jacking the prices up because they can. Um, the makers of the cards, I wish I could, you know, like NVIDIA and uh, I, I can't think of what the brand names are, I'm new to this still. They want to sell to the gamers, the guys that are building the computers, because those are their core customers. These are the people that they buy a card and then a couple years later they want to build a new computer that's even more powerful, so they go back and buy a card again. That's their core customer. They... I mean, it's great that they're selling all their cards out to these miners, but you can't rely on the miners to be there next year or even in a couple months. So 
they want to sell it to us cheap, but the miners have just bought everything up. They're coming in with so much money. I mean, they're buying graphics cards by the case, you know, by the by the crate. They're buying tons of them at once. It's ridiculous. So, oh well, what are you going to do? But I pretty much decided, too, that once this price of the cards come down, I'm probably just going to have a whole new computer built. I'm going to have my buddy just build me a, a badass computer, which... I think it'll work out pretty good. Uh, because one thing I thought about was, you know, if I shoved this really nice graphics card into my whole home computer over there, the computer might struggle just to run that thing because it's going to take a lot more power and cooling and all the other gobbly goop that comes along with it. So I might just build a whole new computer. That one's probably, I don't know, five or six years old anyway. So it's probably getting to the end of its life span for, uh, you know, as far as computers go. So I gotta swap my hands. My hand is frozen. Hopefully I don't drop the camera. <sighs> mm. That's probably the side that, uh, has worse lighting, huh? Looks like it. Oh well. It's so hard to aim at your, it's like, yeah. Oh, we got 10 minutes left on the battery. Okay, we'll keep walking. We should keep these down to about 10 minutes, but yeah, we'll maybe make some longer videos. So that's kind of just what's been going on. Pretty much video cards and and not making videos. <laughs> we'll see a little sneak peek. Look behind me. Oh, there's it. And that blue tarp. <laughs> He's the fun mobile. Had a little snow this last week. No, that was just the other day. It kind of snowed, so we're still in the in the cold. I think it's supposed to snow this weekend. We might actually get some good snow this time. Enough to maybe plan. We'll see. As you can see the uh, the Chevys are still sitting out here. There's nothing going on. It's just too cold and damp. I have done. Pretty sure I did the last update. Let me double check. Make sure I put it up. Yeah, a couple little things, fuel pump, water pump, and whatnot, so... Getting close. I did put the radiator in. I haven't had that on video yet. Oh, look. Meow. God damn, it's so hard to film past you. How do you do this? Uh, yes, yeah, so I put the radiator in and, and a couple little, little things there, so I try to make progress. I have a few hours after work each day, but... It's so cold and wet, you just don't want to do anything. Oh, there she is. Cat just runs full speed across the yard everywhere. It's weird. Other than that, did her lap around the yard here. My hand is frozen. My ears are getting cold. There's not a whole lot going on though. I'm really hoping this summer is gonna gonna be fun. I think things are finally starting to. I don't know, settle down, open up for me. Especially with work. Kind of at a point at work where I don't really need to work overtime anymore. So I'm, I haven't worked overtime at all this year, since, you know, since the new year basically. So it's actually nice coming home. You know, it, it's still actually an adjustment working eight hours and coming home. And like, I feel like I'm leaving early and I shouldn't do that when I leave just doesn't feel right I'm just not used to it so it's nice to get out of there feel like I'm getting out of there early get home and actually have a few hours to do stuff especially during the daylight look at this this is great I'm not technically doing much but oh well so we got behind me back you see that tree up there right at the base of that tree you can't tell from here but I actually cleared the ground out around it. I'm gonna do bees. I'm gonna do honey bees there this year. I got all the equipment and supplies. I actually have the bees on order and everything so I gotta build a little platform up there to put the hive on. And uh, yeah I think it'll be kind of cool. So I'm like staring at that spot on the screen. It probably looks like I'm just like, staring at the camera all weird. So, yeah I do honey bees this year. I think it'll be kind of fun. Give it a shot. I'm always looking for that new hobby that's going to keep me interested and 
chances are it'll turn out just like everything else where I do it for a little bit and then never touch it again. But, oh well, it's all for fun. Whatever you do to keep busy. I think uh, that's about it. Battery's going to die here in a few minutes, so I should probably call this quits. If, uh, if you guys do like these type of videos, where I can maybe just keep you updated week to week, just random things that are going on, uh, maybe I'll keep doing it. We'll see. So, I guess for now, see you next time.